that this evening we have taken our not only but also cameras to the heart of London's West End, where at a nightclub, La Maison Sophistiquée, we see the opening of the great coloured jazz singer, Beau Dudley. <laughs> Terrific. Did you like it? <laughs> yes, I, I thought it was. I thought it was tremendous. Yes. Now, um, Bo Dudley, or may I call you Bo? B O, call me Bo. Yes. <laughs> Bo. Um, I think, for the benefit of English viewers, it would be a help if you could actually um, explain some of the lyrics, which I think the slang is a little hard to understand. Could we uh, go through the song verse by verse? Be delighted. Yes. Good. <coughs> Mama's got a brand new bag. Yeah. Mama's got a brand new bag. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> This is fairly self-explanatory, isn't it? It's a simple story. Mama, the sort of Harlem mother, has gone out into the streets and she's seen this bag, which is very nice, and she's bought it, and um, that's it. She's yes, got a brand yes, new bag. What yes. kind of a bag would that be? Well, of course, in the old days, it uh, probably would have been a carrier bag. Yes. But uh, <laughs> in these days of scientific advancement, it's probably a gaily coloured plastic bag. A gaily coloured plastic yes. bag, which she's bought, <laughs> and it's brand new. Yes. Is the, and, the, and the song goes on. It goes on. We go with it the whole night long, baby. We are going to groove it the whole night long, baby. <laughs> now, this presumably is a reference to the fact that the mother, having bought the bag, decides to make some indentations on it, to make some <laughs> grooves on the bag, a sort of decorative pattern, it's, presumably. It's a, it's a darky decorative process. Is it? Yes. yes. Um, How is it done, the grooving? It's, uh, it's done with a groover. With a groover? Yes. Uh, of course, in the old days, when they used to have knife grinders and... Uh, Watermelon sellers in the streets used to have groovers. Mississippi Groover! Yes. They used to call out, you know. And, uh, well, in fact, it's now a purely domestic occupation. It's done by the mama. By mama. By mama. By the darky mama. We're yes. going to groove it the whole night long. It takes a long time. It takes a long it takes time. Long time. It takes a long time. The whole night long. Bags, yes. Baby. It's for the baby. Is it the child's anniversary or Probably something? Probably the child's anniversary or the first tooth being cut, that sort of thing. And yes. so the bag is grooved by the mother all night long. It's a long process. Exactly. And it goes on. We're going to Work it out, baby. Mm. We are going to work it out, baby. Mm. Uh, this is a little surprising, isn't it? Yes. That having grooved the bag, she should then decide to work it out. Isn't that rather? Well, it's rather putting the chicken before the china shop, isn't it? Uh, because she's grooved the bag and then suddenly she decides to work, work it, it out. out. A little late. A bit too late there, isn't it? Because yes. the bag is already grooved. Can't and far too yes. late, she should have worked it out before she grooved yes. it, shouldn't she? Yes. And yes. Uh, this presumably is the explanation of the uh, the, uh, yeah, yes. the end, the end, the exasperation. Uh, uh, she, goes on to, she goes on to say, mm, We're going to shake it tonight. We're going to shake it tonight. We're going to shake it tonight, presumably in frustration, the fact that she has grooved the bag, <laughs> grooved the bag badly without having worked it out properly. So in her sort of frustration, she shakes the bag, just yes. shakes it all night. Out of yes. exasperation. Ah. Then, of course, exa exhausted by all this, she goes on and says, Stretch out now, stretch out, baby. Stretch out, she wants to stretch out and fall into a dust. Fall asleep. <laughs> yes. And then, but unfortunately, she says, I hear you talking, I hear you talking now. What's that, the neighbours The neighbours chatting next door, you see. <laughs> Through the paper thin wall Through the paper thin comes wall. the sound of the neighbours talking yes. just when she wants to go to sleep. Exactly. And she goes on to say, You turn me on, baby. This is a sort of uh, a jive, jazz boogie woogie abbreviation <laughs> of uh, turn the light on for me, baby. Uh, turn me on, baby. Turn for me, in parenthesis, the light on, baby. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> a linguistic trick, rather like, rather like the German eye out of the door, 
go must. Exactly. Similar sort of thing. Giant boogie Harlem thing, is it? Boogie, boogie Harlem, darky, jazz, rhythmic, yes. rhythmic, kuchu yes. thing. And how does it go on? It goes on. You're burning up now, baby! <laughs> you're, you're burning up now, baby. You're now. burning up now, baby. Uh, you burning up now, baby. The baby's turned the lights on, fused the whole house, and the wig man... <laughs> In flames. In flames. The whole igloo set fire. Ah. <laughs> you don't think any of these lyrics could be in any way connected with making love or sex? Oh, good Lord, no. And anyway, I wouldn't sing that sort of garbage. <laughs> Well, to summarise, basically this is a simple story. The mama has gone out into the gay, bustling streets of Harlem. She's seen a brand new bag. She's bought it, this gaily coloured plastic bag. She brings it home, spends the whole night grooving it for her child. Um, then she discovers she's grooved it badly. She hasn't worked it out. And so in her rage, she shakes all night, attempts to go to sleep, but the neighbours start talking. She asks her child to turn on the light, but she fuses it, and the holy glue or wigwam goes up in flames. <laughs> and we're left with the underlying question. Was it right for the mother to squander her money on these gaily coloured plastic bags? Wouldn't she have better spent it in re-wiring the entire house? <laughs> and isn't one left also with a question? Should there be legislation to prevent the sale of these bags to people who aren't quite ready to use them? <laughs> I 